Oh, there's a good bite. Got him. That's feeling right. That's feeling really right. Got him. Fish on. Watch that one right up the live too. Wow. What a way to start the morning. I can't think of a better way to do it. Big. Oh. It's another day and it feels amazing. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. Look at this day. Sunny, light and variable winds. Look at the shoreline. Look at the lack of boats. What's going on? They call that fall actually. And generally in the fall, you catch a whole pile of walleyes. Filmed a cool video yesterday where we caught just, it was just like an absolute massacre of fish. I mean, caught just an absolute ton of 15, caught a few like 24 inch fish, but 15 to 18 inch fish caught an absolute ton of them today. We're going a little bit more big fish hunting. It's early in the morning right now. Sun's just kind of starting to get high. And uh, it was a late night editing last night, but uh, we got it done, posted the video, posted an awesome walleye now piece, kind of all about plastics and fine tuning plastics, right plastic for the right job, right cadence, all that kind of stuff that you take into account to catch more fish on plastics. That video can be found on the walleye now, available on Google Play and the App Store under um, early fall and then select any of the body water options and it'll look something like that right there. But um, very exciting. And today, like we said, a little bit more on the big fish hunt. Not liking the lack of wind so much that we have, um, but we might just have to go a little bit live baity today. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of pulled up to random spot number one, which is just a closer stop than the spot I probably should end up fishing today. But um, we got to do a little bit of work, find some fish. We're still going to be looking in relatively shallow water, 7 to 12 feet of water pretty much, and uh, we'll see what we see. But like I said, today our eyes are on the prize big fish that's kind of the that's kind of the goal of today's video catch a few fish hopefully in that 26 27 28 inch size range so stay tuned i gotta dump them in coda down we gotta start putting through some structure here looking for some fish see what happens put some baits in front of them set some hooks and have a phenomenal day of fall walleye fishing Cody, I might have the first walleye on of the day here. Hang on, you're on camera. Anything you want to say to the people? <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear this or not. Oh, Cody, it's a nice walleye. You hear that sound? Oh, Cody, it's a nice 21 incher to start the day. We'll scoop them up. We'll scoop them up. Man, they are so crazy and wild out here. Oh, there we go. Well, let me do some talking to the camera, Cody. I'll call you back. All right. Well, there we go. I don't know if you guys could hear Cody on the phone, but uh, talking to Cody, he's taking the Shelbster out, putting some deer stands up, because unfortunately Shelby would rather catch or sh shoot deer and catch walleyes i realize this camera is not even going right now there we go now it's going how about that beautiful walleye to get the day going right there nice fish 20 inch probably right in there hit the jig not seeing a lot of fish yet spot number one just kind of rolled into it said i can't wait i need to take a few casts this spot will not produce fish all day long because there's not enough fish here but you know, if I can just snipe a few fish off the graph like that, we'll take it. We're sitting in 12 feet of water right now. And uh, there's just a little bit of like a fringe weed edge right there. That I was kind of pitching at. Real kind of subtle bite right off the bottom. But um, we might start live bait. Once I find a bunch of fish, I might go plastic or something. We'll see where the day takes us, but you know, look at this day. The fog's lifting, it's fallout. It's not super cold yet. Light and variable winds today. 
I'm digging it, I'm digging it. And that fish came on 7.3 medium light, fast action Elliott rod. My favorite jig stick with uh, just the quarter ounce Google Eye jig and a big old purpley fat head on there. Fall walleye fishing classic right there. Oh, there's a good bite. Got him. That's feeling right. That's feeling really right. Oh. Oh, man. 100% gonna be a big walleye. I made a lot of casts right at those fish on the live. And finally got one to bite. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a really nice walleye. Listen to that thing go. Listen to that thing go. Oh, my gosh, dude. Fall. Look at this. How are you gonna beat it? Absolute gridlock with a giant walleye right now. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is that a big fish? Come here, buddy. Come here. Can you guys hear that thing? <laughs> oh, just like a kid in a candy store, man. No matter how many times I've done it, the jig bite, the fall jig bite. Look at this. Oh my gosh, is that a stud? Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Got him. <laughs> that is what we're after right there. You know, we might sacrifice a few numbers today, but if we're gonna catch fish like that, it's all good with me, man. That is a stud. That is a stud walleye right there. On the jig and minnow. And just kind of sharpshooting like almost individual fish right now probably have to give you guys another look from a different direction but man is that a good one right there look at that fish you guys wow what a way to start the morning i can't think of a better way to do it big tall fall walleyes right there all right there we go quick thumbnail picture taken i'm gonna get her back real quick oh dude that fish is all of you know 26 27 right there back she goes Oh my gosh, does that feel good? Does that feel good or what? Another nice walleye. Only two of them now. We've been fishing for 12 minutes and six seconds total. Feels good, it feels good. We're definitely gonna be, have to do some running around, like I said, we're still on spot number one, but if I can just wiggle a couple more fish like that out of here, well worth the quick stop this morning, for sure. And like I said, that fish took a whole bunch of casts and essentially, what happened was I saw him on side imaging, spun the live around to him, chased him around for a little bit, and finally just kind of must have done something he liked, but put it right in front of him, popped it like just once or twice on that cast, and boom, the old big jig bite. Look at this. We're basically going back to back here. Just, is this a pike or is this a walleye? What do we got here? It is a nice walleye. Wow, dude. Well, this is kind of getting good. And one thing I always talk about, I gotta turn this camera on. I was literally in the process of restarting that camera and saw that fish on the, on the, the live. One thing I always talk about is how you can use your electronics to turn what's not a lot of fish into a lot of fish. You know, a, a few pods, a, four to five fish spread out around a greater area with side imaging you can get on those fish quickly and with the live you can really pinpoint that cast a lot a lot faster so a lot of times you can drive through an area that might not really look that good and make something happen not as big as fish number two but hey they can't all be that big right there we go look at that man are we having fun are we having fun now like I always say, fall is my favorite time of year, so it probably sounds repetitive for you guys to say when <laughs> I keep saying, like, oh my gosh, so much fun. But I'm having a good time. And I 100% needed a trip where I just kind of go do my thing on some of my favorite places to go. So here we are, catching fall walleyes on a jig. How are you going to beat it?
Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Fish on. Watch that one right off the live, too. Another nice walleye. Another nice walleye. And it's amazing how effective this style of fishing is. I think a lot of people, when they, when they jig fish in the fall, they essentially just get on a spot and start casting and spot lock down and you know, give it 20, 30 minutes and nothing happens, move around. What you guys probably don't see a lot is there's a lot of time just spent on the trolling motor, kind of like looking, just not even really casting. A lot of times your time spent casting is much less than your time spent just looking. But as we all know, it's obviously much more important to be around fish than it is to be casting at nothing. And there we go. That sun angle is going to be hellacious from that camera this morning. But there we go. Beautiful walleye. We'll take them like that, huh? That's exactly what we're after right there. Wow, picked it up on the, the drop. Bit it on the cast. And man, these things get so crazy at the boat. I want to make sure I got my loose enough drag for when they go ballistic here. Just a boat like that right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. How are you going to beat it? Well, we definitely improved upon the size from yesterday. 100% been 12 minutes since my last fish and that was kind of the longest void of time it's been but I just kind of was trolling motoring around until I saw another group of fish and then put a bait right in front of them how simple does it really get you know and that's a lot of times what catches fish the simplest approach but there we go look at that I feel like we got like some slight cloud cover starting to happen which I'm into that. I'll take that all day long. I think my fish already moved, but there we go. Look at that. See you later, buddy. Back for more. Is there still any there? That's a negative. None in my peripheral vision here. So back on the troll motor and uh, I'll try to find another couple pods of fish here. right there that was a cool bite I literally cast it out to him and watched him like follow the bait all the way in and then I kind of yanked it up way high at the boat was about to reel it in just pitch it a different one and he shot up <laughs> and ate it and if I had not seen him shot up I just would have basically reeled my bait all the way in we just did a little spot move so hopefully I'll kind of edit together a little Kind of sequence where you guys can kind of see it you know i think I, that was probably the first cast on the spot but when it is the first cast on the spot you know you're that you're putting it around fish like every single time and that is so important when you're making when you're fishing a lot of these really big flats because a lot of them even though there can be a lot of fish on it a lot of that percentage of water can just be so void of life you even get to reuse my minnow how about that let's do it again How's it going? Oh my god. <laughs> Any luck? Uh, he's hunting this weekend. Or this week. I live in Missouri. I watch all your videos. Oh, I appreciate it. There'll be one tomorrow from here. <laughs> Just talking to a dude from Missouri who watches the channel who's up here doing some fishing. Dude from Missouri, I hope you crush them today. It's always amazing when you go places or do seminars. You know, I live in this little world where I always describe it as all I ever wanna do is like go fishing, go fishing, go fishing, right? So I live in this little world where like my job is to wake up early, go out on the lake, produce video, edit all day or all night, do it again. So then I see a comment like, oh, Jerry from Missouri says, love the channel. Thanks for watching. And it's like, 
oh yeah, cool, someone on the internet likes it. And then you meet someone in person, you're like, wow, like these are real people. <laughs> it's, always, it's always kind of funny to me. So with that being said, I appreciate every one of you guys and ladies watching and allowing me to go do this every day. Right there. This sound. That's what we like. Well, as the sun's getting higher, you can tell you're having to cast at a few more fish to get bit. But man, when they're this size, who cares, right? I mean, every single one of these fish just absolutely rock solid. I think we've probably caught like seven or eight now. Damn, I think it's only like eight something in the morning. Did not get a super early start, but we'll take it, man. Wow. Wow. Let's look, grab that guy out there for a second. That's how you want to hook him right there. <laughs> the jig is through the nostril. He ain't coming off at all. Beauty. Man, such hearty, healthy fall fish right there. I absolutely love it. There's not really like a whole lot else to really say other than let's just set the hook a whole bunch more times today. I mean, you don't get many many days that look like this in October or it's gonna be eventually it's gonna be 60 today light and variable winds we're catching a few walleyes I'll definitely be remembering this day on a nasty February day when you wake up and you're like oh my gosh where are we really going back out there again but there we go there's another one and it's almost it's kind of that point in the season where you're like you're not sure if you're excited for ice fishing or if you're like Oh man, please don't let it end. I don't want to go back to that cold wintry world yet. But we have had a lot of questions kind of regarding the walleye now app and what it's going to look like for ice fishing. And we're making a ton of changes to it right now, and working with the app developers and all that kind of stuff. And so we can lay it out to give you guys the most amount of intel possible come ice season. And we're going to, I mean, the schedule for ice season is like like a rocket ship and uh we're gonna have an absolute mountain of content for that and i'm kind of excited about that um just to be able to integrate a lot of the walleye now stuff into the ice fishing side so stay tuned for a lot of that oh there's a big mark way out there Wow, did that one ever absolutely smash that thing. <laughs> you know, I had a couple bites that were just kind of like, and then this one, boom. No mistake in that when it happens, huh? This sure is a fast fish though, gotta be a pike, huh? What do you guys think? I don't know, it could definitely be a walleye though, based on what it's doing here. Oh yeah, it's another nice walleye. Another really nice walleye. Dude, that bite was absolutely ferocious. I feel like you guys will probably be able to see my whole body just like boom <laughs> the second the jig hit. Oh man, we'll take them, we'll take them. And I think right after this, I'm gonna film kind of a piece just for the Walleye Now app, kind of talking about this style of fishing with some good graph filming and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can kind of just watch the process go down a little bit. Sometimes you can describe it, describe it, and describe it, and then others, you know, it doesn't really come through until you kind of put six cameras, you know, one on me, one on the graph, one on the side imaging, put lots of screenshots in. So look for that on there, because it's kind of a, it's not just like, oh, you're jigging while I was in the shallows. There's a lot of little electronics things that go into kind of fishing super efficiently like this. They're kind of the difference between catching some and just drifting around the flats and catching a few.
Wow. Did you guys see how close that was? I mean, that was like almost vertical under the boat. I was literally about to move spots. I just happened to see these guys kind of sitting right there in front of me to catch. Pitched out to them and boom, just like that. That is what I'm talking about. Well, there's not really a whole lot else to probably say today. I'm gonna fight this fish out here. We'll just go for the old grab. It's about 9.30 in the morning right now. We've caught an absolute pile of nice walleyes this morning. And starting to get some people out now. The fish are getting a little bit more slow. So I think I'm going to film some awesome fall app stuff for the Walleye Now app. And we'll just kind of leave it at that. But I mean, look at that. I don't know what else there is to say. Caught a ton of these fish this morning. And anytime you can do this up in shallow water, and they thump a jig. Life is great with me. So with that being said, I got the rest of the day to mess around, drive around, do some scouting, maybe do some practice fishing. I don't think we're gonna fish here tomorrow. I think we're gonna keep moving lakes. I'm on lake number two in two days now. And I think tomorrow we're gonna go to a different body of water and kind of break that down, see what it has to offer, all that kind of good stuff. But um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. These things are absolutely a blast to make. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. I know sometimes like when you go back to back to back videos, it might seem repetitive, but this is what I like doing. I like traveling around, fishing different bodies of water and um, breaking it down and making YouTube videos. So appreciate you guys watching this. Make sure you guys check out the wall and now stuff on the app because a lot of that stuff, especially if you're curious on this bite or how to do it with more efficiency, it's a phenomenal tool to kind of put you on the fast track to walleye fishing success. So with that being said, I'm gonna mess around the rest of the day. Turn the cameras off because it's always just such a stress-free moment when I go, click for the last time and put the cameras away but uh appreciate you guys watching if you guys are not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time